In this tutorial I will show you how to create a vintage looking video clip using Caden Live. If you haven't used Caden Live before I have placed a link to my beginners tutorial in the description below. Editing in any decent video editor will require the use of proxies and my beginners tutorial will show you how to set proxies up in Caden Live. Once your video clip is loaded on, as I've said before, you've got a proxy. I'll just briefly explain what a proxy is. It's a very low definition copy of the video that you're going to be working with. And in by doing that, you don't get lagging when you're uh, moving your bar across or your computer just doesn't slow up. It's quite a low definition video, but when you come to render, it actually renders it back to its full definition or full quality okay like I said once you've got your video clip in the timeline left click on effects and next to artistic left click on the little arrow and first of all we're going to put our pointer over the box that says or the tab that says old film hold down left mouse button and then drag this over your video clip. What this does is create a sort of shaky flickering video. So that's your first part done. Again go back into effects. What we're looking for now is can't find it now. Oh, here we are. Scratch lines, that's the one. So just drag scratch lines over your video. Now I found that there weren't enough lines to make it worthwhile putting this on. So what I did, we got maximum number of lines. I'm going to change the 5 by highlighting it, just typing in 32. And again, play this video now we've got quite a lot of scratch lines you can put as many or as little as you want in here and you can change the width you can lighten the dark, darken them so muck around with it to what you want okay finally left click on effects close that down and then go next to color Left click on color and then drag sepia onto your video clip. And again, you can change settings here. I'm going to leave it the same, but when you change something, just make sure you remember what the original figure was. You can always change it back. And uh, that basically will create a reasonable looking old fashioned film really with the scratches and that's about it so usual thing go to rendering like I said before if you've not used Caden Live I suggest you look at my beginners video um, thank you for watching cheers